All right, what are we doing today? Today, we are going to be installing a CB radio into the old 99WJ Black Tragic 2.0. We're looking for a bumper video that's coming out. It actually got done before the CB, but it's a really lot of videos. I've got to do a lot of editing to get it on there, and it's going to be time consuming. So, this shouldn't be as time consuming. So, what do we got here? We've got the Pro. 520 XL Pro Series by United. We're going to be installing this into the Jeep. This will run you about $63 on Amazon. I picked it up for about $48. I'm not going to tell you how. This is half inch UHMW black color. That's what we're going to mount this on. In the Jeep, I'm going to mount it on top of the dash. I may hurt some people's fillings because I am going to drill, be drilling through the dash. Some of you may not want to drill through the dash, so you're going to have to find alternate ways to do so. I'm going to drill through the dash. But we're going to do it nice and clean where you can't really tell. We're going to have to trim this down. I'm going to show you what's in the box, probably take a picture, or short video. I'm not going to do like a super long unboxing this has got really good reviews there's about 2500 reviews on uh, Amazon and it's got almost five stars out of five so really good radio basic radio okay and they say these things can take a beating there's people that got those Jeep Wranglers where it gets rained in and all that and they say these things still work pretty good so should do fine in this thing We've already installed the uh, the antenna and the cable. I'm not going to go through that. Just installed the antenna through the uh, through the uh, bumper there, and um, ran the cable through the firewall. The main grommet is over here on the driver's side. I went under the main grommet and drilled me about an inch hole because you got to feed that big cable through there, and I installed a grommet. Ran it through there. I also ran the uh, lights through that same grommet. And I had to have lights code through there anyway, so we went ahead and did that. Routed it through the dash up to where the radio is. We're going to be tying this into the radio. Um, basically, two wires: a ground and a accessory positive wire. We're going to run this too. Uh, I'm going to do this kind of in a temporary using tempor temporary wire connectors. Normally I would probably solder this in and heat shrink tube it, but uh, since I'm not sure about this radio harness, we're gonna do it that way. Um, a lot of people frown on those connector type things, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna call it temporary for now. If it doesn't become temporary and I can use that radio harness, we may come back in and solder it in. Let's get started. All right, let's go over some of the accessories we got to make this happen. Road Pro uh, CB antenna stud. That is essentially that component that attaches the antenna through to the bumper. All right, that's that. The cable I went with was a Rode Pro CB antenna cable, 12 foot long. We're running from the dash, ran through the driver's side firewall inside into the antenna. Here comes the supervisor. And for the actual antenna, we went with a Francis, four and a half foot, 175 watts, hot rod. That is the antenna. Four and a half foot. All right, here is essentially where we are going to be mounting this. On this top indention in the dash. 
Here's our UHMW. We gotta cut that down to where it will fit nicely into that indention. Say we don't have a radio in this yet, so I can't go through you with uh, taking the radio out for you. You'll have to check out another video on that from somebody else. This is how we got it. We will install a radio later. For now, we're just installing the CB radio. So I'm going to take a couple measurements, make me a cardboard template, trace it on our UHMW, and cut it out, smooth it out, and put it on there. All right, here we are. We got our cardboard template cut out. Now this cardboard template does not fit flush down below. You can see this has a bevel to it. So I'm gonna cut my UHMW out this size and I'm gonna have to bevel the UHMW. So we're gonna put this template on the UHMW, cut it out, bevel it a little bit, come back and check for fit and uh, continue adjusting as necessary. All right, here's what we got in the box. We got the radio, pretty small. Got the mounting bracket. That's gonna mount to our UHMW. Got our knobs for the mounting bracket, some screws, and a little clip for the mic. And here's the mic. And that's the essential of what's in the box. All right, here's what we're looking at. Got our UHMW cut out. I do not have it bolted down yet. I'm gonna put my radio on here, figure out where I wanna mount it. I'm gonna mount it over here to the side because I'm actually gonna, let me get on camera. I'm gonna actually mount it over here to the one side because I actually wanna mount my phone. I've got a RAM mount that's gonna go right here. That'll hold my phone. I'm gonna mount that there. Mount this kind of forward of this mount so we can drill in, in and put our holes in there. So we're gonna make marks with a marker and go from there. All right, let me show you essentially what we've got here. We mounted that bracket as close to the front as possible. Got my ram mount. Those are recessed in. Those screws there are pretty flush with the bottom. So I drilled holes and then I recessed those holes. All right, so here is the back. This is where the antenna cable will hook up. I'm gonna probably drill my hole for my antenna cable somewhere over here. So this will come around and go down into the, down by the radio through here, all right? So I'm gonna drill a hole that's big enough for the antenna cable to go through this piece and through the dash. This is gonna hurt a lot of folks' feelings. using these wide fender washers underneath so it gives it plenty of uh, wide area to support and I'm using blue Loctite on this nut
when you drill through there be sure to check under here before you drill through make sure your wire harness or anything else is not in the way that is secure now I got two screws going through the dash fixing to drill this hole through here now Fluff in there, bro. Anywho, yeah, there he is. Why? All right, I just hooked the uh, microphone here to the side of the actual radio for now. It's time to power it up. All you got is red and black wire. And like I said, we're gonna come in here on this stereo. We're gonna plug in directly to this radio harness. We're gonna plug in black and yellow on this, the accessory wire, uh, actually, let me read this before I tell you wrong. Actually, we're going to hook red to red. Because the red on this harness is accessory power. Uh, let's see if I can give you the color for the actual Jeep. So it looks like uh, on the harness for the Jeep, it looks like you're looking at solid white wire with the red stripe is your AC power. And this ground, I'm not sure where he's got this ground coming from. It's just over here somewhere coming from somewhere else in the harness. So we're going to hook that up with these little temporary connectors. Two of them. Connect them and tape them up. I'm going to keep as much of this harness as possible as we may relocate it at a later date. You never know. Those two little screws there with the big washers. And then of course we've got our cable coming down.
All right, folks, there you have it. CB install on the 99WJ Black Tragic 2.0. I do not have an SWR meter, so I can't fine tune the antenna right now. Something I'll have to see if I can borrow. We got our phone mount up here. You could run GPS. Radio. All hooked up on this base plate. There you have it. Radio mounted.